Here's another example of how to work with complex or what I like to call complicated fractions. And notice we have a numerator and a denominator. In the numerator we have another fraction. In the denominator we have another fraction. And I like to identify each denominator in each fraction in the numerator and the denominator, which means we have an x plus minus 1 here and an x minus 1 there. Here we can actually say this is over 1 and this is over 1, so we can ignore those denominators. The common denominator among all the denominators that I circled is x minus 1. That's very straightforward, so we can call that the LCD. And the LCD is equal to x minus 1. And the trick that I like to use to solve these problems is to multiply the whole numerator by the LCD x minus 1 and the denominator by the LCD x minus 1. So we can go ahead and put brackets here and say we're going to multiply that times x minus 1 and put brackets here and multiply the denominator by x minus 1. So that's in essence the same as multiplying the whole thing by 1 and uh, that, that works. We don't change the fraction that way. Okay, so now we're going to multiply x minus 1 times the number 2 and x minus 1 times this fraction in the denominator. Multiply x minus 1 times the number 5 and we multiply it times this fraction there. So in the numerator we get 2 times x minus 1 and we multiply this times this. Notice that the denominators will cancel out and I'm left with a plus 3. And in the denominator, when I multiply this times this, I get 5 times x minus 1. And when I multiply this times this, remember that those will cancel out. I'm left with a minus 3. Okay, then I get rid of the fractions, or not fractions, but parentheses. So this is equal to 2x minus 2 plus 3. And this is 5x minus 5 minus 3. And then combining common terms, uh, this becomes 2x uh, plus 2 minus, uh, minus 2 plus 3 is plus 1, and this is 5x. We have a minus 5 minus 3 is just minus 8, and I don't think I can factor anything out there, so that's the final simplified form of our complex fraction. Okay, so we'll show you some examples, and they become more and more complicated, so stay tuned. Take a look at the next video.